Hi, my name is Dave Wilkin. I'm the coordinator of jazz studies at the University of North Carolina at Asheville, a freelance trombonist, and I have what many people think is a very unusual looking embouchure. My embouchure is an example of an upstream embouchure. The mouthpiece placement is so low that the rim of the mouthpiece is placed right on the red membrane of my upper lip. While most players won't find such a low placement to work, even other upstream players, my own embouchure functions best this way. What exactly does it mean to have an upstream embouchure, though? In this short video, I'll try to answer that and other questions for teachers and players dealing with upstream embouchures. Before discussing the upstream embouchure, there is one important point that should be understood. Since everybody has a different face, everyone will have a unique embouchure. The player's embouchure type is completely dependent upon his or her unique anatomy and cannot be chosen by how the player or the player's teacher wants to play. Every brass player will have one unique embouchure that will work best for the individual. Deviating from what the player's physical characteristics dictate will result in an embouchure that requires more effort to play, technique hurdles that can't seem to be overcome, and sometimes a complete embouchure breakdown after years of moderately successful playing. Contrary to what most brass musicians seem to believe, the direction of the airstream is not determined by the angle of the horn to the face, but rather by the ratio of upper to lower lip inside the mouthpiece. Downstream players will place the mouthpiece with more upper lip inside. The lower lip predominates inside the mouthpiece with upstream players. It is possible to find both downstream and upstream embouchures with a horn angle that is close to straight out or tilted down. There is a phenomenon that can be observed in all successful brass players that, for lack of a more descriptive term, I'll be calling an embouchure motion in this video. When changing registers, Brass players will assist the compression or relaxation of the lips through moving the mouthpiece and lips together as a single unit along the teeth. It's important to notice that the placement of the mouthpiece upon the lips doesn't change, only the relationship of the mouthpiece and lips to the teeth. Upstream players virtually always pull the lips and mouthpiece down when ascending and push them up to descend. Downstream players can either do the same or the exact opposite pushing up to ascend, depending on the individual, so watching a player's embouchure motion alone won't determine if the player is upstream or downstream. My own embouchure motion has some side-to-side -side deviation, which is not uncommon. I pull down into my left to ascend, and push up into my right while descending. I 
I also place the mouthpiece a bit to one side. Many brass musicians will find that the shape of their teeth, lips, and jaw make an off-center placement work better, while others will find a more centered placement best. It is possible to play any brass instrument with an upstream embouchure, provided that the player has the anatomy that makes him or her best suited for one. While I'm not really a brass doubler, my upstream embouchure works very similarly on all the brass instruments, and examples of successful upstream players can be found on all the brass instruments. Upstream trumpet players are fairly common, particularly in jazz. Many upstream players will find the lip compression needed for very high notes comparatively easy when things are working correctly, and many upstream trumpet players can become very powerful big band lead players. Just as on trombone, my trumpet mouthpiece placement works best with the rim placed on the red of my upper lip. It doesn't feel uncomfortable, give me endurance or range problems, and moving the placement off the red simply doesn't work for me. Again, most upstream players won't find such a low placement best, but my own anatomy precludes anything else. <laughs> 